guys, it's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and today we are going to be working on a mirror. It's going to be a reclaimed wood looking mirror, and we're going to use clothespins. We're going to use a lot of clothespins. In fact, you're going to need these clothespins that you can find at Dollar Tree, and these medium sized clothespins that unfortunately you can't get at Dollar Tree, but you can find these at Walmart. Now, these are not the super, super tiny ones that you find at Dollar Tree. They're cute, they're adorable, they're not gonna work for this project. In addition to the two different size clothespins that you're gonna need, and honestly, you could probably do it with just the one size too, if you really wanted to, you're going to need one of the smaller wire-framed wreath forms, one of the larger wreath forms, and one of these round mirrors. And as I mentioned, you're gonna also need a bunch of clothespins. And you wanna get some dye. You wanna get some right dye because you don't wanna be spray painting these. We're trying to give them this reclaimed aged wood look, you know, like you see from like pallets and um, a lot of new furniture and stuff. So in this case, I bought the denim blue. I bought the charcoal gray. I bought the emerald green. I bought the dark brown. I bought the evening blue, and I got a wine color. So that's all the materials you're gonna need. Let's get started. Okay guys, remember when I said you would need a bunch of clothespins? I wasn't lying. I have approximately 20 clothespins per color, and that is just in the larger clothespins. For the smaller ones, because they're gonna go around that smaller center wreath, you don't need quite as many. I wanna say I have about 12 to 15 clothespins per color, and in the smaller ones, I only chose to do about four of the colors. So I'm going to have some leftovers for sure, but that's okay, I can always use them for another project. Hey guys, when you're dyeing your clothespins, I'll give you a quick tip that I learned. Take about a quarter of the right dye, pour it in a Ziploc bag, then put uh, four or five splashes of water in it, just, just straight from the faucet is fine, and then add your clothespins to it. Mix it up really good as if you're like breading fried chicken or something. And then just set them out overnight to dry. What I did was I left mine in the Ziploc bag overnight and then I laid them out on the towel out here on the porch to dry in the sun all day. You'll notice that you get a lot of variations in the colors, which is perfect. Like, look at the green one here. You can see parts of it are darker, you can see parts of it are lighter, and that's exactly what you wanna do because that gives you that reclaimed wood look. Okay guys, the next thing you're gonna do is you want to join your two wire frames and your mirror together. Now, what I recommend is taking two clothespins just for spacing needs, putting it on the smaller wire frame and then wiring the mirror to the frame on the back side. That way you have plenty of room to go back in and put your clothespins in. Now for the smaller center wreath, you're only gonna be using the smaller clothespins, not the larger ones. So if you have extras of these, go ahead and place some around the ring. That way when you're wiring this, you're sure to leave plenty of room. Okay guys, now you can see that I have kind of loosely, very, very loosely wired this mirror to this frame. Now. This is not going to be how it permanently is. This is just kind of a loose interpretation of it right now because you need to be able to put these smaller clothespins all the way through that wire and you've got to be able to do it all the way around. Once you've done that, then you can reinforce this wire and tighten it up. Okay guys, my mirror is very, very, as you can see, loosely wired to this. This is strictly so we can put the clothespins on here. Once the clothespins are on it and the entire wreath is completed, we'll flip it upside down and then we'll tighten all of this up. That way it's good and sturdy when it's hanging on the wall. The center part's done. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Let's get okay guys, now you can see how the wreath is starting to come together. I'm literally just picking one from each one of my piles and then just working my way around the frame. We are almost done. Okay guys, it's all done. What do you think? I am freaking out. I freaking love this one. Hey guys, it's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I am all done with my reclaimed wood mirror. I hope you liked it as much as I did, and if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in.